what the UFC won't tell you. That's the story for today. Let's get to it. Welcome back to the channel everybody, I'm Miles Jury, and today I really wanted to just talk about some lessons that I've learned over my 7 plus years fighting with the UFC. Before we do it though, make sure to smash that like button and to subscribe, it helps out the channel a lot. I was signed with the UFC back in 2012, and I was with them all the way till 2019. So I've had a lot of experience working with the UFC, fighting in the cage, um, I've had 14 plus fights, and today I just want to talk about some of these lessons that... I've learned over that course. Maybe you're an up and coming MMA fighter and you have dreams of making it big in the UFC. Or maybe you're just a casual fan and you want to kind of like a look behind the scenes of what it's like to be a UFC fighter. And today, I want to share some of those lessons with you. Lesson number one is your first fight in the UFC, it's an opportunity. That's all it is. You know, when you first get signed with the UFC, when I first got signed with the UFC, I was like, man, this is awesome. I'm, I'm here. I made it. I, all that hard work I put in, I'm finally here, I'm going to be taken care of, I, uh, I'm going to be making all this big money. I was super excited. I, I really thought once I got signed that everything was going to open up for me. Your first fight with the UFC is just like if you were to get a sales job where they're bringing you on and they're going to test to see if you can actually make some money, if you can perform. That's, that's what it's like with your first fight in the UFC. You haven't made anything, even though you signed a three fight contract or a six fight contract, none of that matters. It's basically an opportunity for you to go out there and show the UFC what you have, what you can do. Are you going to go out there and you're going to you're going to be a, a vicious knockout artist? Maybe you're going to go out there and be a submission artist. That first fight with the UFC, it's just an opportunity. It's an opportunity to sit down in front of you know Dana White, have him watch your fight, see if you know he's interested in keeping you around. It's an opportunity to be in front of Sean Shelby, the matchmaker with the UFC, and that's all it is. It's a chance for you to go out there and be somebody. Really go out there and put it on the line, go for broke, go for the knockout, go for this mission. That's what it is. That's all that first fight with the UFC is. There's nothing else guaranteed after that and there's nothing else given to you at all. The second thing that the UFC won't tell you is there's no retirement plan. There's no 401k that comes along with this job. When you sign up for the UFC, there's no nobody there to be like, hey, Miles, this is where you need to be taking your money when you fight. You need to put a portion of your money here for to put away for taxes. You need to put a portion of your money here into mutual funds or stocks, or you need to have an IRA. Like all these, all these things that you have to learn on your own about investing in money and retirement, you have to do that yourself. UFC does not provide any of that. That over the seven years that I've been with them, they once flew me to Vegas, flew fighters to Vegas. And they had uh, a one-day seminar with some people coming in that talked about stocks and bonds and uh, in a budget. So there was that one day that they, they provided a little bit. But besides that, over the seven years, I had to learn a lot of stuff on my own about retirement. Because let's face it, this is a young man's game. This Being a UFC fighter, fighting in a cage, you can't do that forever. You know, it would be cool if we could do it when you're 55. But the real case is that you cannot fight forever. So you need to have that retirement plan set up and the UFC does not provide any of that for you. So that's one thing you have to look out for once you start fighting, once you start making money, building a name for yourself, have the people around you and do the research so you can figure out for yourself your retirement, how you're going to be set one day after you're done fighting. The third thing that the UFC will not tell you when you sign up with them is that you are expendable at all times. There is nothing guaranteed with the UFC. You sign a three fight contract, a six fight contract, a million fight contract. It does not matter. UFC can fire you at any time they want for pretty much any reason they want. Maybe you have a bad fight. Maybe you take a loss. Maybe you say something on Twitter that you shouldn't have. Maybe you're just not what they're looking for. Whatever the case is, you're expendable. Face it, you're expendable. They can fire you at any time and you have no control over that. Being expendable with the UFC and knowing you get fired at any time and there's no job guarantee, there's, there's, no, uh, there's no guarantee that you're, you're gonna have another fight, it really leaves you in a position and it left me in a position where I felt, I felt really nervous and scared at times throughout my career because I didn't know, even if I won sometimes, I'm like, oh man, you know, maybe they thought it was a boring fight. Maybe I'm going to get released. Or I thought, 
hey, you know, maybe if I, if I lost, like when I, when I lost, I'm like, man, like maybe they're just going to cut me, you know, they, they're going to release me because I, I, I know the, the terms of the game. I've seen people get released for all kinds of different reasons. And I know that there's nothing in my contract that guarantees me anything. So that's one thing you have to understand being in the fight game, being with the UFC, nothing is guaranteed and you are expendable. The next thing is that taxes, nobody tells you about them. When you're a UFC fighter, there's nobody taking money out of, out of your check like a regular employee to pay for taxes. You're responsible for figuring out taxes yourself. You're responsible for over the course of the year when you fight, the taxes aren't taken out of your paycheck. You get your big lump sum of money. So you're responsible for putting money to the side. You're responsible for going to a find a tax man and to have somebody draw up your taxes. You're responsible for your receipts. You're responsible for all your write-offs. Everything that comes with taxes, you're responsible for, and you're responsible to learn about it. I knew nothing when I got signed with the UFC about taxes, and I had to learn everything on my own, from books to YouTube videos to finding a good tax man. These are all things that I had to do on my own, and because, let's face it, if I didn't do that, if I just you know threw it under the rug and was like, I don't want to learn about taxes, I'm not paying taxes, well, guess what? then the IRS is going to come knocking at your door and then you have really, really big problems and you don't want those. I don't want those. The most wealthiest people in the world don't want those problems. The superstar athletes, actors, they don't want those problems. You don't want to mess with the IRS. So when you get signed up with the UFC, understand that they're not going to come and teach you about taxes. They're not going to teach you about putting money to the side. You're going to have to learn all about Uncle Sam and the tax man all on your own. So be ready, be prepared for that because that's a big part about fighting, making money, is dealing with taxes. So be prepared. The next thing that UFC will not tell you is that you gotta pay for all your medical bills. Now there is a catastrophic insurance plan. Apparently that's what I, I understand of it. It's if you're training for a fight and you get a big injury, I blow out my knee or I or, you know, hurt my neck or I gotta get a surgery, yes, UFC will cover that. Or if you fight and you get injured in a fight, yes, UFC will cover that. Other than that, doctor visits, dentist visits, um, if I get sick or I, I need to get medication or anything like that, I pay for that on my own. I go to the doctors for uh, to, to get antibiotics, I got strep throat, I pay for that. I go to the doctors, I gotta get an eye exam for my fight or I have to get blood work, I pay for that. When you're a UFC fighter and you make it to the big show, understand that there's no medical insurance for you. It's only when you really fight in the cage that you get taken care of. Other than that, you have to be ready to, to if you get your, your lip split or your chin split, be ready. You have to pay for that out of your own pocket. Or if you know a doctor, maybe that trains at the gym, maybe you can have him stitch you up. I've done that before. One time I split my chin open. I was, you know, my second or third fight in the UFC. I didn't have much money. I really didn't. So I went to a friend of mine, Luke, who was a, a doctor. And I remember driving over to his, uh, his condo. And I remember laying on his couch and, and he stitched me up. My chin was split open, bleeding everywhere. And he literally stitched me up because I could not go to the, the doctor and afford the hundreds of dollars to, to get it fixed up at you know a hospital. That's one thing you got to understand when you get signed up with the UFC is that you don't have an insurance plan like you do at a regular job. When you go to the doctors, you got to pay for that on your own. The last thing that the UFC will not tell you is there's no unemployment. There's none with this game. If you fight and for whatever reason you get hurt, guess what? You're not getting unemployment. You're not gonna be able to collect a monthly check to be able to float you to get you to your next fight. No, not like a regular job. At a regular job, you know, you, you're, you're working or whatever, you get hurt, you can file for, for unemployment to help you get through this injury, to get back on your feet, to get working again. With the UFC, there's none. When you're not fighting in that cage, you're getting no money from them and you're getting no unemployment. So that's a big risk as a UFC fighter. You have to understand that there might be times in your life, maybe it's a, it's a personal reason why you can't fight. Maybe you get hurt during uh, training, or maybe you, you, know, you slip and you fall and, and you, know, you bust your knee up. For whatever reason, if you cannot fight, don't expect unemployment to be there. Don't expect UFC to be paying your, you're paying your bills. It's not gonna happen. So you, that's why it's very important. We talk a lot about it this channel. Be smart with your money, save it. Don't, don't be living like a rock star. Buy assets, you know, I love real estate. Maybe you love stocks, but it's very important to be smart with your money because when tough times happen, you are not gonna be taken care of with unemployment. 
You're, nobody's gonna be there to take care of you. You're gonna have to take care of yourself. So that's it. Those are some things that the UFC will not tell you. I had to learn this on the go, in the field. I learned it over the seven years I was with the UFC and it's lessons well learned. So maybe these lessons can help you guys out there. And I wanna know, what do you guys think? Were you surprised at any of these? Did you, did you already expect this? Let me know. So until next time guys, I'll see ya.